Good day, guys. Austin here. And in this one today, it's emulation. So we've got some emulation type of news. Now, this one is massive. In fact, this is probably the most newsworthy emulation I have done up to date. Not that I've done that many, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, Jeepers Creepers. Today, today, Dolphin has got some huge updates huge updates like you would not imagine this means that i've got to completely rethink the way i think of dolphin so stand by for that one else were huge updates again the raspberry pi has got some newcomers well not so much newcomers but a new little addition retro pi one of the well probably if you're into the retro stuff and you play it on your pi retro pi is the way to go um up until now we've got the the normal build however there is some huge news in terms of that one also i cannot believe all the news what has happened this week i, I cannot keep up with the news <laughs> and they made this to keep up with the news elsewhere then front end stuff we've got launchbox and there's been some new developments there also so guys i'm just gonna get straight to the chase so well let's get stuck in Okay then, well first up, let's have a look at the Raspberry Pi. Now, as you all know, if you're going to emulate anything on the Raspberry Pi in terms of the most easiest way to do it, you're probably more than likely looking at RetroPie. And RetroPie has had many incarnations. It's been updated over and over again. And that's just the way it is, that's the way all programs work. However, this time RetroPie, oh my heebie jeebies, they have updated from version 3. Point whatever we got up to, I think we got up to like version 3.8. And now it's had more or less a complete rebuild and we're now looking at version 4.0. 4.0! Oh, this isn't just, I don't know, one stage further. You know, they've not just added an emulator or something like that. They've actually redesigned the whole way it's put together. So now when you boot it up, you're more than likely going to be greeted with nothing until you start to add things. Whereas beforehand, it was very higgledy-piggledy. It was like they were adding more features, but what they weren't doing was making it user-friendly. So now, almost everything is kind of... I don't know, put together in modules. So if you want a certain emulator to go on there, you pick it. And then everything that goes with it comes with it. And then it, it just works together. It's hard to explain. But I'll be featuring this on a dedicated video in the future anyway, just so you guys can get your hands on it and, well, go along with it, to be honest. Um, trust me, guys, they've made this so easy now for you as a user to be able to organize your emulators get this up and running and not just do that but do it quite easily and so it looks actually professional rather than i don't know the higgledy piggledy way of doing it before so huge news on that one guys and look forward to a, a dedicated video again as always, I'll put links in the description down below for you to get more knowledge on this, for you to do this alone, and to get links to the actual stuff that I'm talking about within here. Okay then, elsewhere, we're looking at front ends, launch box. Not huge news, but it is huge news if you're into launch box. And trust me guys, I've done dedicated videos on this also. I kind of mention this all the time because the developer over there is constantly working on this one and what he's done is he's made it so you guys can actually work together easier he's developed his forums now beforehand he had forums but unfortunately it was those kind of forums where you go to and you literally cannot do anything you know it's hard to locate anybody's useful information it's hard to communicate it's hard to share all the stuff you want to share and it's just a pain in the ass however uh, Jason Carr and his team over there have developed a new format of his forums which makes usability a hell of a lot better and bring the community together a lot more so you're not so fractured and working on different forums all over the place. Now you've got a hub to play with. Okay then guys, this now brings me on to the, the big news article of today. Oh, I was waiting in anticipation because nothing had been leaked on this one. But Dolphin has been updated to version 5.0. 5.0. 5 
It's been three years, three years since we've had an update like this. Yes, I know in the past we've had, you know, fractured updates. We've had version 3.86972 or something like that. And they have been huge evolutions. When you look at the grand scheme of things from start to finish of what they've achieved during them three years is absolutely unbelievable. But this... This, <laughs> it's knocked it completely out of the park. Everything has changed, everything. The way they've approached this is unbelievable. And it is very worthy of the 5.0 uh, new version tag that they've given this. <laughs> I can't wait to do it. But this now means that my tutorial and probably everybody's tutorial is now completely outdated because this has updated specs this is updated what you can do this is updated almost everything this was going well this has gone far and beyond what i ever expected from this release and all as i can say is my hypothetical hat is off to you guys over at dolphin you really have done the wii the gamecube the virtual console everything that goes along with anything to do with that emulator you've knocked it completely out of the park completely out of the park and oh, i cannot blow my trumpet enough for you guys with there then just off the top of my head z freeze now comes as standard and it's not just the z freeze hacks that i've shown you in previous videos what this does is it opens up so many different doors to games that were completely unplayable now the games that you use the hacks on when you use the hacks basically this meant that it would slow the game down and although you could play the game you again like like back in 2000 you needed a supercomputer to get the kind of speeds to make this kind of worthy enough to play and also you would still end up with glitches with sound and all that kind of good stuff it's all been ironed out all been ironed out it's brought hundreds and i mean hundreds of titles now to the not just I don't know, non-glitchy anymore, but I mean completely playable, as intended, if not better than the original game itself. Games that were good are now a thousand times better. Oh, you can now render to, like I showed you in my older videos, with the older versions, to 4K. The system standards are nowhere near that, that were. Is that even England? I don't know. <laughs> it's unbelievable. So we've got huge bug fixes. The Z Freeze things has come on leaps and bounds. Apparently, I've not managed to get my hands on it, but the system manager, the actual, I don't know, emulating of the system Wii console when you opened it up without a game and you can get into the Wii manager and do all that kind of good stuff. Apparently now that's usable as an actual feature. Whereas before you could do it, but there's only certain games you could play, certain things you could do. Apparently that's usable. But going into depth on that one. Wiimotes. Wiimotes have always been usable. Wiimotes are actually really compatible with Dolphin. But now you can actually get the audio to work and sync properly with all the games. Adding extra features to the games. This is unbelievable. Um, oh, so on and so forth. I'll be here all day. I'm going to make a dedicated video featuring um, this Dolphin. It's worthy of it. It is worthy. So what I'm going to be doing is updating my guide showing you what this puppy can do and milking the hell out of it because i really want to get this the justice that it deserves so again thank you very much guys in the video as you see now there is footage of what they've put out there i urge you i implore you to watch their video and well it, it gives it justice it explains far better than what i can do here and tells you what they've done even in the short term um, I implore you to watch that, take it on board, and again, we'll be going into this in a lot more detail. But that's it. I'm just waffling on because I'm just so excited. I'm literally going to download and start getting amongst this like a rash right now. Jesus, I've had so much stuff that I'm trying to catch up on. I've had to completely rebuild my arcade build guide because well, <laughs> I decided to make an audio track which was like two hours of beeping. <laughs> but I've got so much to do and it's hard to catch up because there's so much being released. So much no newsworthy stuff is out there right now. But anyway, I'm jabbering on as per normal, guys. Please like, please subscribe, but most of all, share this stuff today because this is absolutely unbelievable. This is groundbreaking. The world needs to know what has happened today. It's like, 
I don't know. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, something positive. I was going to say doomsday, but it's not because that's a bad thing. It's something really positive. I don't know. Baby Jesus has just been born. <laughs> that's how groundbreaking this is to the emulation world right now. Okay, then, guys. Once you've shared it, then, thank you very much. And please, please, more than anything, you have a good day. Laters!